friends, welcome back to another super motivating cleaning video. In today's video, we are going to be doing some more cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. This is going to be like super satisfying because we are going to continue to declutter this house, get rid of so much more things, and just organize the things that we do have. So I hope you guys are ready to get some things done. I know we are probably going to be all having family over and family time, and this will be great motivation to get your house clean for the holidays. We won't stand a so this pile here was from Chris's closet. The rail um, actually broke in there, so he had to bring everything out and lo and behold he actually did not do this before moving i had thought he had i know i did in my closet so he went ahead and took this opportunity to go ahead and completely purge anything he no longer needed and i know he loves this process this was so good for both of us we went through all of his clothes and just got rid of whatever doesn't fit and he doesn't want and that way we kind of had took inventory of what he has in his closet which is so good and such a huge essential part of decluttering before you go out and buy more stuff do all the laundry in your house and then declutter and organize you will find out you probably have way more than you actually need So we will be making another box for Goodwill. A ton of his clothes went in there. He does lead worship every single Sunday. So we had to have plenty of shirts, but some of the shirts he has had since he was in high school. So he wanted to get rid of those and some of the old grimy shirts. I know if you guys have a spouse in your life that just has shirts that just need to go, but they keep wearing them. This was a great opportunity to finally purge those items. I had washed the bedding for the uh, master bedroom before I put my bedding on there. So I'm going to put that on the top of the closet and he is actually going to find a stud in the wall and try to fix this closet so he can hang up some of his clothes. And the other closet where I have all my stuff, there is not enough room for both of us. So this was very urgent for him to hang up some of his stuff so I could have just a little bit of room. Back to the pool table room. You guys saw this in my last video where I said it was a disaster. This is actually the next day. And my goal is to completely clean out this room because this is right when you walk in and it was so cluttered. But like I had mentioned, we're going to continue to go through some of the things that we just kind of threw into a box. If you guys have moved before, you know, like in the very beginning, everything goes in its perfect little spot and everything's super organized and labeled. But then at the very end, when it's really time to like get out of there, you just start throwing all kinds of randomness in boxes. And this is the time that we're going to go through it because we don't, we at least don't want to take it to the new house. I am using the Sharpie here to mark on the chargers. I will explain more in just a minute, but get you guys some metallic Sharpies. They are lifesavers. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go So it may seem a little silly and like extra 
to do this but if you guys have a ton of kids or you just like to save some time i would really recommend getting these metallic sharpie markers or if you have a label maker and label every single charger cord in your house because we are always getting them lost if you have a label maker go ahead and print out the label it'll come out long just put it on there and just um like tape it on there so it's just like sticking i'm gonna do that for all the cords behind the tv probably not in this video but i will especially with the new year videos coming it's like going to be decluttering and organizing to the max but we have a whole box of chargers here i have no idea what these are i don't know what they go to so if you just take a little bit of time and label everything it'll save you so much time i can't remember who said it but it said an hour of organizing is a lifetime wait an hour of organizing he's wait 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 hold on i think it was benjamin franklin said an hour of organizing what is i'm gonna find out hold on hey siri what does benjamin franklin say about an hour of organizing okay I found this on the web for what does Benjamin Franklin say about an hour of organizing. Check it out. Benjamin Franklin says for every minute spent in organizing is an hour earned. That is so true. And who doesn't love some pretty Sharpies or some fun labels? So you're going to be getting so much organizing and decluttering motivation. You're going to be getting a ton of decluttering and organizing motivation. I'm here for it. Honestly, it helps my mind so much. I think it'll do the same for you. So I did involve the kids with the decluttering. It really does help. So they kind of get an idea of what we need and don't need. And then they can also start the habit of decluttering their own items. Noah is not quite there. We are getting there, but it definitely takes time. He is more attached to things. I'm sure you guys have little kids and you understand what I'm saying. But the older kids have enjoyed this process. They've even liked the idea of maybe having a yard sale and selling some of their items or donating them the items they don't want to kids less fortunate Still I know what you feel. They keep moving in different rhythms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different lines. Telling lies. That's how we stay alive. okay so i've got a bag of our remote controls bag of hoverboard chargers those are all hdmi in the blue rubber band the red rubber band is the um, speaker charger i got some battery chargers down here and then i've got a bin starting for all xbox things and xbox chargers and i'm going to make another bag for like um all of the phone chargers So you guys know I love baskets for organizing things, but I also love Ziploc baggies because you can write on them and then you can actually use this for inside of baskets. So it's like organizing inside of a basket, which makes me really happy because you can put everything in its own little spot. I love being able to do this because with so many electronics in the house, there are always chargers and cords and just things everywhere. And I have no idea what it is as you saw in that big bin. I'm using this basket here. This is just a Target basket I think I got in a bundle. And I'm using this for all of the Xbox cords, chargers, and little whatever those things are called. I can't think of it right now. Hand, hit, hand controllers, whatever. But we have things like that everywhere. I also made another basket for the Switch items and the Xbox items. And then I'm going to wipe this off with Windex and use another metallic Sharpie marker to label this so it is super easy to read. Stay 
So a part of this decluttering process and cleaning process is also condensing. So I'm taking some of the boxes, emptying them out as you have seen in the past few videos. And I'm gonna rewrap some of the items that we are not gonna use in this house. Like this beautiful diffuser here that I got for Christmas last year. It is in my Amazon favorites and I love it. It changes colors. And so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this really good and put this in the box and start stacking boxes to go back to storage. And of course, packing the boxes really well and then labeling them so it's easy to see in the storage units when we move to the new house. I would like for everything to go in a designated space because at that point, we did talk to the, um, well, Chris actually talked to the building manager and he said he is going to try really hard for us to get in there by March. So I will be very, 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 very big and pregnant then. So I want it to be as easy as possible to get in and get everything situated. Okay, so I have my like summer scents right here. This is what it, Let's Get Punchy is so good and I like to mix it. A pineapple Pucker, those two mix, which I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can mix Scentsy. My favorite of all time is, let me get this focused, Very Merry Cranberry. I used to have a bar, or excuse me, a, um, a brick of this. A brick is that big one. Um, so I already ran out and they don't have any more bricks. So I just buy a ton of these. It is the just the most soothing soft cranberry smell it is wonderful whenever i have it warming in the house i get tons of compliments then you guys know i love her if you've been here for a while i the, i don't burn candles but if i do it's from her it's cozy candle company evergreen winter is lovely my favorite at birchwood pine and she sent these to me to try cranberry bliss and more birchwood pine um, in the back love those that these are not as strong this is a very very soft sense sense so if you're wanting something a little stronger scentsy if you want something super smooth but won't hurt your allergies and asthma like I have I would totally encourage you guys to get these she's amazing and her candles are gorgeous hand poured I can't say enough about this sweet mama right here so then over here, I have a cinnamon bear brick. I mix this one with very merry cranberry to give more of like a Christmassy holiday feel. These are what the bricks look like. You can see I go through it. Very merry spruce, love it because I love pine. I think pine is the most wonderful smell all throughout the year. It's very clean and refreshing. I will use my diffuser pretty much every single day for like, uh, you know, to make the house smell good and things like that, clean out the air. But every so often, I really like to have something like this going. But you guys know I know I have my asthma, I have my severe allergies, sinusitis. This does not bother me. These scents don't bother me. Other scents from Scentsy that I've tried may, but these do not irritate me. So, so I just put in another order with them and ordered more cranberry scents and more pine. I'll let you know um, how those are, but I bounce back and forth from my warmers and my diffusers. Okay, you guys, we're gonna start off in the kitchen. I'm gonna unload the dishwasher, clean this space. I have already started a load of laundry. P.S. 
it's a load that I started last night and forgot all about. So I'm rewashing that and then I'll be adding some more laundry because I feel like it never ends, but I say that in every video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting off in the kitchen, like I just mentioned, we are going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher super duper fast. And this dishwasher is amazing, by the way. You would think maybe because it's older, it wouldn't be. It is better than the last two dishwashers, which one of them was brand new, that I have ever had. I mean, I can put my stuff in there pretty dirty and it comes out clean. I am so used to not having good dishwashers that I always pre-rinse my dishes. It's just what I do, especially here in Florida. We have super duper hard water so the dishes don't always come out great but I will say that this dishwasher has been a blessing in disguise oh my gosh Chris was even like whoa <laughs> these dishes are clean so I just had to have a little like rejoice moment right there you know you're adulting when you get excited about adult type appliances and vacuums and dishwashers So we talked to the lady who owns the house and we want to do something above this sink here. I was thinking maybe a mirror. Let me know what you guys think. She really likes this sign, so I obviously want to incorporate it. But what would you think of like an old farmhouse window or a mirror or something above this sink? Let me know in the comments below what you guys would do because I would love to make it look really pretty for her. is just priceless. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to I cleaned this out. This is where all of the plastic bags were. So I put it in another drawer and decided to put all of our coffee here just to kind of save some space for us and make it really accessible in the morning when we're trying to make some coffee and we are half asleep. I had a ship order come in, so I'm gonna put these groceries away, and then I'm gonna organize some of the items that came in in my next video. It will be a clean, and also I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Christmas treats. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share it with you. My sister made it about two years ago, and I have been hooked ever since. I have the recipe, and I can't wait to share. So that will be in Monday's video. Talk until we're fine. You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. Can't you just magically turn up in mind? Then you knock on my door on the second floor, and I feel okay. We just made it through, and I love the way I feel for you. Mm, baby, you make me lose.
feels right We never get it right But somehow it feels right That's how I feel about ya to each other i know we feel the same about the situation in the laundry room i'm going to start some more laundry i will not be doing a ton of folding in today's video i will be doing the rest of the house so i don't want to bore you guys every video have like minutes upon minutes of just folding some serious laundry or let me know do you guys like to see me folding laundry i don't know so i'm gonna put these items in here and then i'm also going to start separating the clothes i have been doing the darks by themselves towels by themselves and then pinks and whites together not red but light pinks peachy colors any light pastel colors i do in the white load and it is perfect. I used to have everything so just separated. It was reds and pinks and oranges and then it was darks and then it was towels and then it was bedding, but it just got too crazy. So I feel kind of proud of myself that I was able to condense it a little bit more. So my life is a little easier with so much laundry to do. I am using this little plastic storage shelf for all my cleaning products. Again, I had mentioned in my last video, I do not want to have my stuff all over their house. Just, you know, I don't know. I just feel kind of bad. I know we're renting it, we're paying for it, but I just, when we go, I also want to make sure we can just pick our stuff up and go. I want to make it easy for myself, but I have so many cleaning products that I'm going to use this storage shelf here to put everything on there super organized so I can just grab and go.
I often mention you pick your battles. Another battle was I was folding all of these like garage towels and just towels that we use for cleaning and I said no way. I threw them all in this Dollar Tree bin because this is something you just got to pick your battles with. We are getting so close to seeing the top of this pool table. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to continue to condense some of the items for the kitchen, as you see, and my glorious plastic bag, Organize Upon Organizing. I just love it so, so, so much. I think organizing is definitely one of my love languages, but I'm going to put this box away, label it, of course, and put it on the side of the wall so Chris can take it to the storage unit. Look at the boxes. I'm feeling so proud of myself, and I cannot even believe we brought them to this house in the first place. We should have done our due diligence at the other house, but you know what? You live and you learn. because the pool table is cleaned up. Might be small for some. To me, it's a big achievement. Progress, not perfection. And we have made some serious progress today. Let me turn you around. All my cleaning supplies right here. I have this bin of laundry stuff we don't need. You remember that bin right there with all the electronics. We are going to go through those this weekend. Not worried about it. Trash, Goodwill. I'm starting a um, supplements and seasonings box. And then, what is this? Oh, that's uh, bedding. I'm going to put that in a clear bin. Chris has to go, this goes in the garage. He needs to go through that stuff. You saw what that is. This is making me so happy, you guys. Seriously, this is making me super happy, y'all. I took some of the wall art out, or off the walls, just to kind of like open the space up a bit. I took it off of there as well. I took it off of there. This little girl is so conked out. I found her bone and she was so happy. So she spent a good while <laughs> chewing on her bone. And Ruby is, of course, trying to get some scraps. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is stuff for Chris to go through. 
we have more to do, but like I said, progress, not perfection. So it's no secret that I love self-help books. That's like my favorite thing, especially when I'm in like a funky mood. I'm going this way because no, I didn't have He's got his pajamas on, which mean undies. And it's a, uh, when I'm in a funky mood, I love to do self-help stuff. He just snaps me right out. That, a good playlist, worship music, an audible again with self-help. I'm telling you, those are the ways that I get out of a bad mood. Um, so, and I can get in those very frequently. I'm human, I, I have my moments, but I work my booty off to get out of it. Moving on. One of the things that I read or heard, I'm not a reader because I can't sit still very long, but one of the things I heard was they did a study, I think it was Harvard people, where they studied um, the journals of multiple, hi, come on, baby. Countless, come on, oh. countless um, successful entrepreneurs and just people in general. And after they studied their journals, and actually I think it was thousands, um, after they studied yeah. their journals, hold on baby, they realized the secret to success, the secret to success, sorry, and happiness was progress. Those who were the most successful and the happiest were people who had some sort of progress every single day. Now that can look very different to each and every one of us. Whether you are a working mom, which I've been, whether you're a single mom, um, working at home, it doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, if we're a mom, we're working. But no matter where you're at, whether you go into the office or you stay home, you are working, you are doing something. Maybe you're in the season of life where your kids are gone or you're empty nester, or maybe you haven't had kids. There is something that each and every one of us, it doesn't matter who we are, that we want to have progress with. Whether it is organizing, maybe a craft, maybe call a friend, maybe if you're struggling with anxiety and depression, it's making your bed, or brushing your teeth, taking a shower. And to like the normal mind, I don't wanna say normal cause none of us are really normal, but to the very balanced mind, you may think take a shower, brush your teeth, get out of bed. What, that's crazy, everyone does that. No, when you have anxiety and depression or you're going through grief or you're going through hard things, those things are very hard to accomplish. So virtual high five if you're going through that and you accomplished something that makes you happy today. So whatever the progress is, like I said, it could be a multitude of things. Find one thing every single day to make progress on. This house is not even close to being done and organized and feeling cohesive just yet, but we're making progress and I feel so good about it. I feel so good and that makes me happy. That is gonna help me sleep tonight. That's gonna make me feel like I am doing something, I've accomplished something and not only that, the biggest thing for me, it kind of sets the momentum for the next day, so little tidbit no matter what you're going through in life right now find one thing and have make some progress on it and again that could be a multitude of things make progress on it you want to find something every single day that you are proud of nobody else but you and that can look so different baking cookies for the kids just giving a hug to your husband saying a kind word being kind to a stranger. That's another thing that I notice when I'm in a funky mood. I'm not just saying this. I was in a really bad mood and I went to somewhere, I can't remember, and I was so kind. I mean, I'm always really kind, but I just went out of my way to tell this person how much I appreciated them and it made their day. And in return, it made my day. I was able to bring light to someone and love and kindness to someone and it switched my bad mood into such a, a, a mindset and a heart of gratefulness and thankfulness so that was another way and another tip that i have if you are not feeling amazing right now i don't know about you guys but a lot of us struggle during the holidays 
it can be a very sad time for many of us. So if you're struggling this holiday season, I just want to encourage you with some of those tips right there. Make progress, have a heart of gratitude, and be kind to a stranger or just someone. And I'm telling you, it's like that. It'll totally brighten your day. It'll brighten your life. And you will literally have like a ripple effect. That person will be feeling so good and they'll treat someone else with kindness. And you don't know what the person next to you is going through. So always be kind. You don't have to vote for the same person. You don't have to love who they love. You don't have to love how they love. You don't have to have, you don't have to look like them. Just be kind. We are all on this earth together. Let's love on each other. So that is my little bit of encouragement for the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely did. I feel so proud of myself. And let me know if you get on social media and you do something with some, like some act of kindness or you make some sort of progress in your day and you feel accomplished and proud, would you tag me on Instagram? Let me know because I would love to share that because hopefully this holiday season, we can just have a ripple effect of love and kindness. And I hope and I pray that although 2020 was kind of rough, I hope and pray that 2021 is the sweetest year yet. So thank you all so much for being here. I love you all. And now I'm going to go and love on my babies. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Cause you're the one, the one.